the network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation. How you doing, everybody? My name is Chris Neno, and this is the first episode of a new podcast coming to AV Nation called MHO. With me, I am joined by the AV Blue Chipper, Mr. Mike Shin. Mike, how you doing? I'm doing great, Chris. How are you? I'm doing well. Chipper. Man. That's nice. I like that. I like that. Man, I'm going for I'm going for the youth. I'm going for the the rise in in, in success and everything that you've been uh, getting yourself into, and uh, it's it's nothing but positive stuff, man. I'm glad to have you aboard and see where we go from here. Thank you. Me and you in line. We have to bring in Melissa Delman. Melissa, how are you? Now, Melissa, you your your job here with me and Mike, aside from 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 keeping us uh, maybe apart, I'm actually relying more on you and Mike to bring some technical knowledge, and I'm just going to be pretty much the carnival barker here as we go through some topics of um, concern for AV uh, professionals that are out there right now. So let's start off by me setting up the the premise of the show. You won't get more than 15 minutes from us. We are each going to go for five minutes each as I ask the question. So the timer starts once I put the question out and say who's the first person up. Okay, so the first the first show that we're going to start off with is we're 30 days outside of Infocom. And with being uh, you know roughly 30 days outside of Infocom, there is a lot of questions about what is going on, why should I be there. So I guess the first topic of the first show for us is going to be what no, I guess the answer is why. Why go to Infocom? And I'm going to start off with Mike. Uh, Mike, you're on the clock. you got five minutes. Tell me why either you as a seasoned professional or a novice or a rookie, why should you go to Infocom? And what does Infocom bring to the table? Well, thank you, Chris. Uh, Infocom is absolutely the largest show that the United States has for the industry. So it's the largest collection for everyone to be able to learn all the new technologies that are coming out in the coming year, as well as learn about technologies that they may not even be aware of are already on the marketplace. It's also a great opportunity for people to be doing some networking, learning others in the industry, seeing how other people are doing what we do. Uh, what differentiates, what is similar, are we all headed in the right direction, and really get some feedback to be able to take back to your organization and determine if your organization is headed in the right path. One of the great things that I enjoy about Infocom is the networking piece. You really get to meet a lot of people that can help your business grow, uh, that can help your career grow. Um, it's definitely something that I have benefited from uh, going to Infocom for the last nine years or so. The other major piece is being on top of all the new technology. One of the biggest problems that we have in this industry is that the technology is changing every single day. Uh, we hear about new products on a weekly basis. We hear about mergers and acquisitions. We hear about transitions for product lines and rebranding. And it's very important that everybody is aware of what is happening in the industry in order to make sure that your customer base is well informed. Since we are looked at as integrators, and I work for an integrator, so this is just the integrator perspective, um, you know, since, since we as integrators are expected to be the product experts on the technology that we sell to our customers and we recommend to our customers, we really need to make sure that whatever those technologies are, that they're reliable and that they're going to continue to help their business grow and solve the business problems, the business communication problems that they have. Now that's all from a pro AV perspective, of course. Um, if you're in the resi world, you have the exact same situation. You have to be able to make sure that your customer uh, at his home or her home um, has the best technology installed uh, in order to give them that entertainment experience that they're looking for. Um, so it's, it's really a, a culmination event. It's bigger than life in many ways. If you've never been to Infocom before, let me tell you, uh, there's definitely some preparation that you need to, to start to look into. This is not the type of show where you just show up and start walking a show floor because you'll get lost very, very quickly. Um, the show floor is parsed up into different pavilions featuring different technologies. It's important that you understand that and you plan ahead. You should be looking at the schedule. You should be looking at the events that are happening at Infocom. If you're looking for education, this is the, this is the show to go to. Uh, you have all of the industry experts giving uh, 
presentations and talks in private classroom settings where you can earn credit if you're looking uh, to renew your CTS. You can earn credits throughout the course of the show. It's very important as well. Uh, but you can, you can really get a true understanding of where the industry is, where the industry is going, and who can help you to make your organization keep up with where the industry is going. Um, so I know that's not a full five minutes, but that's pretty much my summary in, in terms of, uh, of why I go to Infocom and why I think it's important that everyone in the industry should go to Infocom. Sounds great, man. Thank you. And you're right. We do have five minutes. I'm giving you five minutes. If you need them, use them. If you can't, we're, what the whole goal is we want to put together this podcast for viewers that can easily digest this information quickly and in a timely fashion. You know, being a little different than some other uh, shows that are out there on EV Nation, which may go for an hour. So we're trying to cut this one down a little short. I will go ahead and um, do mine real quick. My five minutes are on now. And in my honest opinion, the reason why I want to go or people should go to Infocom, we're going to actually uh, have Melissa come in and, and pretty much level everything that me and Mike are going to put in place because Melissa has, has her unique uh, view, and that's why this is our strictly just our opinions. Um, my reasoning to go to Infocom is, you know, in, 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 the, in our world of the professional world of, of AV, we deal with the commercial, we deal with the corporate and all that stuff. This to us is, this is the big game. This is the Super Bowl. This is what every manufacturer preps for. You as a, um, a person in the industry, this is where you go to see and touch and, and play with the latest gear. Now, let me preface that with saying that not that vaporware doesn't exist because you have to walk in with that mentality. You walk in with, yes, I am going to go in, I am going to drink a tiny bit of the Kool-Aid, but I'm going to be prepared for, okay, there, there's a, maybe a little bit of a delay with the products coming out. There may be uh, some changes on the feature set when it is made public. Maybe this isn't in, exactly ready for prime time when you're there or shipping now. If you get that, excellent. You're walking there with a tangible product. 99% of the people that are going to be there are looking for something in particular. So you're joining the masses, the people that are going and saying, you know what, I really need this widget that does this, this, and this. And you seek it out. Now, you may find that in the front, in the big booths, with the big players in the industry. You may find that in the back 50. This is something that we will talk about in future shows of where you can be digging and treasure hunting while at Infocom. So you as the AV professional, why do you want to go? Uh, aside from finding that nugget of information, that piece of, technician, uh, piece of technical stuff that will complete your, 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 your project or is the home run for your project that you're working on, uh, you also want to go there for the networking, for the education. This is all stuff that Mike has um, uh, said before. It's, it's, a, it's a key piece to the show. Something that I go for, I absolutely go there for the networking knowledge. Not networking on the IT side, you can learn that, and I'm sure maybe uh, Melissa will talk a little bit about that, and if not this episode, and some of our uh, plan shows that we have coming up uh, soon. But you're going there to meet, greet, and you're going to be looking for certain people, and you're going to be meeting people in booths that can help you. Because one of the things that is a benefit of Infocom, aside from the technology being there and, and you can physically see it, you're also interacting face-to-face -face with people. Now, the three of us are also very involved in the social media scene, so we do see and talk to a lot of people online. But that, coupled with a face-to-face, makes a big difference. That may not be five minutes, but Melissa, wrap this up for us. Why is going to Infocom important, or why should people consider it? And what is Infocom to somebody like you who has uh, a lot of experience in the industry? You've been a trainer, you've done the awards, and you're an award winner. Give us your take on Infocom and why people should be there. Thanks, Chris. Okay, well, how can I miss a setup like that? Um, you know, the guys are right on target. Everything they said is true. Um, obviously, I've been in the industry as a manufacturer now for the last um, six years and so the show for me is a little bit different in that I'm there to meet everybody who attends 
Um, I do a lot of training there, which is really uh, a great experience. You know, I think in, in my humble opinion, you go because, yes, you want to learn about all new products and new technologies. That's certainly key. Um, you're going to see a lot of um, the latest, greatest stuff. Buyer beware. Um, look behind the curtain. Watch out for the magic smoke. But this is that opportunity where you can actually see these folks who make decisions. I know personally in the Kramer booth, a um, couple of years ago, Dr. Kramer was in the booth. Um, what a great opportunity to tell the man himself exactly what it is that you're looking for with our products. You'll see that across the floor. A lot of presidents and CEOs and the people that you don't normally get to, you'll have a chance to actually catch them, tap them on the shoulder and say, hey, here's what I'm looking for. This is what I need. Education certainly is a key component. You need to be there. You've got to be educated. Um, I think in future shows we'll talk a little bit about how you can plan around that because it can be overwhelming time-wise. Um, this is the Super Bowl. This is the main show, the big event here in the U.S. So it's going to be very, very busy. Um, so knowing how to play in that, that's going to be really critical. Seeing those new technologies, all the latest, greatest stuff, um, that's going to be important. The other thing that I think nobody's touched on yet that I'll touch on is supporting your industry. This is your opportunity to meet with the Infocom folks and don't be afraid to find the red shirts and give them your opinion. Sit down with them. You'll have lots of opportunities at luncheons, in classes, in the hallways. They have their offices there. Tell them what it is you need from their organization. So come to the show and tell them. Um, this is your opportunity to check out some councils. Find out if there's one where you can have a voice and you can make a difference. That's a key component for this show as well. Um, getting involved. Uh, we've all met. We all refer to this show if you've ever, if you've done your time there. Um, it's like homecoming. I've made some of my greatest friends there. Um, uh, some of them I would only see once a year and that was at the show. And we would see each other and it was just old times. Um, catching up, learning from them. Some of them my mentors. Um, and that's the way I found them, was at the show. So getting to meet those folks, getting to build your network up, having people who are um, icons in the industry, this is your chance to find them. So to me, that's a, a key component for coming to the show, a reason why you should be there. With all the change that's going on, we need to have a voice within our industry. So don't miss out on that opportunity. Um, find the red shirts, talk to the Infocom folks, they'll be more than happy to help you out. So those are all certainly um, important factors. The technologies we obviously can't overlook. That's where we'll learn everything new. So I uh, think that's, that's also a key component to attending Infocom 2016. Awesome. Well, there you have it. That's the wrap on our first show. The question that we put out there that we had to answer in our humble opinion, why go to Infocom? Infocom's coming up in June. Uh, that would specifically be June, uh, starts June 9th. Uh, we'd love to see you there. If you are at Infocom, if you plan on going to Infocom, seek us out. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Snapchat. Uh, real quick, as we go through this, I forgot to get the contact information, but I'll start with me. You can find me on Twitter at Chris underscore Netto. You can find me on Snapchat at Chris.Netto. Uh, I'm always willing to answer questions and we're actually looking for your feedback on the show. We want future topics. Uh, I can tell you right now, the first couple shows are going to be Infocom heavy because we have a lot of requests for the stuff coming from uh, why go there. What is there com what's coming there? We're going to be getting into that in the future. Show. So, reach out, Chris underscore Netto, or on Snapchat, Chris.Netto. Mike, you want to give your uh, information out? On Twitter, you can find me at AXP Mike. That's at AXP M I K E. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. I'm on all social mediums there is. And Chris, not to correct you, but I just want to point out you had said that uh, Infocom starts June 9th. It actually starts June 7th, uh, with the show floor opening on the 8th. I just wanted to make sure that people are clarified with that because uh, it's the 8th, 9th, 10th. Sorry to correct you, brother. That's all right, man. Hey, I watch PTI, man. They come at the end. They have to fix it. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. That's, that's two points to shin. There we go. Right. <laughs> two points to shin. That's right. 
Mike, uh, Mike, thank you. And Melissa, how can people find you? Oh, hey, you can find me at Melissa Dillman on Twitter. You can find me at uh, Melissa at M. Dillman at KramerUS.com all the time, anytime. So uh, that's the easiest way to find me. More importantly, they'll find you at Infocom at the Kramer booth. They will, well, they will find me at the Kramer booth or stalking the AB Nation guys. <laughs> One of the two places I will be. You'll find us there. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope that the first show was in, 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 uh, enjoyable, and uh, we're looking forward to the next. Thank you again. The network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is AV Nation. This is AV Nation.